As war still ravages parts of the world, the Prince Albert Historical Museum reminds us of the role the people from the area played in the First World War 100 years ago. These pictures here represent the um, members of the First World War who trained and signed up in Prince Albert. So these pictures here are all of um, troops um, parading in and around Prince Albert. Uh, this one here is down Central Avenue, and the top two are of the troops leaving um, the armories uh, at the exhibition grounds. A lot of the pictures that I found for this display have never been really seriously looked at before, and so it was just something that I went through and found. So there's probably 50 pictures or so that nobody's ever seen before. The exhibit that took two months to construct is the most timely the museum has ever undertaken, with a full life-size trench, a personal favorite of many of the visitors. It's a learning experience, I think, um, to see what Prince Albert involvement was um, during World War I. And, um, and the kids enjoy it because they get to look around the trench and whatnot and not look at and look at the pictures. It's more of an interactive display for them. And um, the older members come in and they remember um, what Prince Albert was and what they have done in the past. So in this corner here we have the Books of Remembrance. Um, each page is a person who um, was killed during the war, um, who either enlisted in Prince Albert, is from Prince Albert, or surrounding area. Some pieces were made possible thanks to residents who had family members in the war. Um, these photos over here are nursing photos, and uh, they were donated by Jim Sanderson, a local lawyer in town, um, and they're from his mother's collection. Um, she was a nurse in World War I, and these are some of the things that she saw. For more details of Prince Albert's part in the Great War, head down to the museum, and to hear the Sanderson story, visit PANow.com.